Resmo comes in ranked 29th. She's trying to get back in that top 20. She had been there nine years in a row. And can make it 10. And she continues to play well through the open here. Well, French tennis is really paving the way for junior development and development in tennis. They're doing the right thing in the French Federation. There's no question. They have the most players in the women's and the men's in the top 100. Had a chat with Cedric Peely, and he's looking after the men's division mm -hmm. in the French Tennis Federation, who's... Uh, obviously having a great influence but uh, he was saying yeah every couple of years we just get a French player who just comes right through a couple of years ago they had Bartoli last year was Elise Cornet playing very well they had Songer at the Australian Open this year and this year you've got uh, also at the US Open Qua. Yeah, 16 Frenchmen in the draw I think there's 13 perhaps women and that's just behind uh, the Russian, they have 16 or 17 in the top 100. Of course, Sharapova missing from here. But they lead the way in the men, in the women's. And uh, I think the Spanish are one behind the French, perhaps, in the men's. But collectively, that's a great shot from Qua. She needed that. That was going to be too easy for Moresmo. You don't want to let Moresmo start winning her serve. 40 love, 40 15. She's doing it too easy. Puts a whole lot of pressure back on Quar on her serve. Okay. Well, Julie's been going for it on a few of these returns. She just has not been able to find the range as Moresmo holds and continues up a break here in the first. I think Moresmo, when you're playing her, though, the ball doesn't come onto the racket. She hits with a lot of sp a lot of spin, and she slices it. You have to move to the ball. And Quar, if you're a little bit nervous or if you're not reading it well, it doesn't come onto the racket. Just having a look there, the serve percentage for Quar. That is not healthy. Fortunate to win 60% of those first serve points in spite of just not getting the first serve in. She's had to rely on that second serve. Do you I'll see do Moresmo's though? Her conversion rate, 100% when she gets one of two of her serves in, 53%. Oh. I believe she's eight for eight. That's pretty good. hitting from Qua. She's just a little anxious to try to do something with the point too quickly. She needs to build the rally and wait for the right ball. It's too deep. She can't quite hit the same effective shot. She's inside the court. It's good serving. It served there at 113. That's her fastest so far. Sometimes for a, an inexperienced player, she is 25, wouldn't necessarily call her that young, but uh, Louise, is there a difficulty? You win a big match, you're kind of expecting the same kind of match, and it's just not going to develop that way the next time. No question. Absolutely. question is here there's, there's a little bit of a respect factor when she walked on the court against Ivanovic she doesn't really know Ivanovic she you know she knows she's a good player she's you know knows she's number one in the world but she's just going to go out and hit against him. Moresmo there's a different respect 
thing going inside her mind. She used to train with her. She knows her. She's French. She's been number one. I think that's a different playing field for this girl. Now she's still got a game point here to try to hang with Moresmo despite those problems with her serve. Second serve there. And she does get the hold. New ball. Trailing 3 4 down a break here in the first. Resmo reaching the semifinals in Cincinnati. Natalie Deshi defeating her and then losing to Ana Chakwatadze at New Haven. She serves here at 4 3. Well, that came in at one ten in tight. The stat you were quoting, Louise, is Moresmo now 10 of 10 on those first service points. Well, that's a great stat, but it's difficult to tell your player, you know, come on, let's make a lot. I mean, of course you can say, let's make a lot of first serves, but it's one thing if you're tight and you're, you're unable to do it, because when you get that first serve in, you're going to convert. Like first serve. She just take a little bit off. I mean, she's not serving her fastest. 177 or 110. Qua up around 113, which is 181 kph. But you're in the 180s, though. You're you're doing pretty well. Okay. Now she tried to jump on that second serve return. She nets it, and Moresmo now in front 5-3. One of those easy holds that Kwa needed to avoid, if possible. Yeah, she really needs to build some momentum against Moresmo's serve and put a bit of pressure on her. Emily is not going to be too worried when it's 15-love, 30-love. She's getting through these service games very easily. She needs to try to get that first point. That's a good serve. Louise mentioned that uh, Julie Kwa played college tennis at Clemson in South Carolina in the United States. She earned a math degree at Clemson. She knows the dimensions of the court <laughs> yes. and the numbers, the consistency in which she needs to win. How many points do I need to convert to win this match? How many matches do I need to win to be number one? She can do all of that. She sits at home in her hotel room and calculates <laughs> calculates away she knows what that first serve percentage is yeah. she's figured it out she does she has pulled it up to 37 percent okay. and with an ace her first of the match, a very easy hold. She needs to respond in the return game now to stay alive in this first set. Five games to four. 